Hi everyone, it's Norma, and yes, 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 I'm here to do yet another haul. Although you guys knew this was this one was coming. This is um, part two of my Goose Creek haul from during the President's Day weekend, which was like a couple weeks ago now. A lot of the major candle companies had some sales, and Goose Creek was one of them. And I placed two orders. So I already did the haul on the first order, and this is my second order. It came a couple days ago. And I'm kind of excited about this haul because there are some new things here. I mean, almost everything you see before you is new for me here, except for this one. This is um, a large jar in Cozy Home. This is a repeat purchase for me. I bought my first large jar last year. And I burnt it this winter and I really enjoyed it and I've done a review on it so you can check it out the only thing is I could have sworn my last jar it was not this color it was more like this color um, this is a lot deeper color so I don't know if they changed the wax color on it or what but yeah so I did get another cozy home and then this is a new fragrance for Goose Creek this is in the scent Burlwood and Oak and you know what they need to make these names bigger for old eyes like me it's hard to see but Burlwood and Oak and frankly the label and the color of this wax totally turned me off I just don't like beige brown gray wax scents I usually go for like the green the purple you know the bright cheery beautiful colors or pastels but what gravitated me toward this candle were some of the fragrance notes. And basically they re it reads like the warm woody blend of oak, cashmere woods, sandalwood, and tonka delights, and intrigues the senses with the addition of aromatic rosemary, lemon, lavender, and rose, creating a blend that is truly intoxicating. So when I was reading that description, I, I, I didn't know what to expect, but I was thinking, you know, with the woods and the rosemary, the lemon, lavender rose, it might be a scent similar to, um, you know, that comfort in Yankee's Candle Relaxing Ritual line that I like, or the rosewood from Colonia. I was thinking it was going to be more like a woody floral, um, and it's not. It's... Um, it's more of a cologne type of scent. It, it kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Yankee Candles, Midsummer's Night, but it's not the same. There's something different about it maybe. It's, it's a little bit more woody, uh, a little bit more herbal. Maybe that's the rosemary in it. I'm not sure. It's, it's, I, I don't know if I'm going to like this one. I don't think I'm going to dislike it because I don't, I don't mind cologne scents. It's just not... It's hard for me to explain. I don't mind cologne scents, but I don't really want any more of them. You know what I mean? It's just um, I'm trying to limit the the type of fragrances that I want in my home. I'm trying to narrow down, you know, what I like for spring, what I like for summer, what I like for fall, what I like for winter. And if I'm going to have a cologne scent, it's going to be. Yankee Candles Midsummer's Night. So I don't need a second cologne scent. But we'll see how it does. You know, I, I, I'm always open-minded. So I like to, you know, give things a try. But I don't think this will be a favorite with me unless it just, like, transforms itself when it's burning. Cozy Home is a very unique scent. I, I can't think of another candle company that has a scent like it. So, I mean, yeah, for me, this one's a winner. But... This one, eh, we'll see, we'll see. And this is another one that uh, people I just don't know about. This is Island Sands, look at that. I almost didn't order this. This was like the last candle I threw in my, my basket. Mostly, I got suckered in on the label and white wax. You guys know how much I like white wax. And basically, this was supposed to be like a pina colada scent, you know, the pineapple, coconut, mandarin, but with a hint of anise. So I thought the anise was kind of intriguing. Oh, but I don't know. This one smells like... Oh, it smells like dirty feet or like, you know, the, the bathroom at the beach. I don't know. I, I, 
I don't get a pina colada scent out of this at all. You know, maybe it's the anise I'm smelling. So, you know, I'm hoping once it, it actually burns, it's going to improve. Um, yeah. This one I was really surprised. The, the minute I sniffed it, I was like, what? This can't be. But, uh, fingers crossed. You know, and if any of you guys have tried this one yet, um, please comment down below. <laughs> Let me know how it worked out for you because I'm a little bit nervous about this one. Um, and then the only other large jar I got was Plantation Row. Oh my gosh. Now, this one I have to thank, I th I'm pretty sure it was Candle, Candle Nerd months ago did a Goose Creek call and mentioned this candle and it's been on my radar ever since but the few times I placed a Goose Creek order I, I forgot about it so this time I was like I have to get it I have to get it so I got it and I'm so glad I did I think I'm gonna really like this one it's, it's much more in my my familiar scent zone you know the fresh floral category so let's see what the notes are Okay, so the scent notes for Plantation Row read, the scent of weeping willow trees shading the beautiful gardens with a mix of melon, apple, woody, and musk. And yeah, I kind of get all that. You get the greenery from the willow trees. I do get a hint of melon. I was wondering what that, that note was I was picking up because I was picking up almost like a... A, like a fermented fruit type of note. I think it's like the melon. Yeah, it's the melon and the apple. That's what I'm smelling. A little woody, not too much though. A little bit of musk. It's sweet. It kind of reminds me of um, Yankee Candle's Greenhouse, but that is more of a fresh floral. This is a really sweet green. Um, I almost thought it was going to have jasmine in it, but it's, it's, it's the melon and the apple that I'm picking up. I think I'm going to really like this one. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. And then I picked up, um, this is one of their new spring tumblers that they came out in my first haul. I ordered a few of them, and then this one was I was debating about, so when I placed the second order, I decided to get it. And this is Pineapple Sea Spray. And I got this one basically because, um, as you guys know, Bath and Body Works just came out with their fresh air, what is it, fresh air and sea salt candle. And I love the smell of that because I love sea salt type candles. Other than lavender, I would say sea salt is like one of my very favorites, like from when I first started burning candles years and years and years ago. I've just always loved those two type of scents, very spa-like, very relaxing, very refreshing to me. So I decided to get this one, and I like it. You know, it's, um, I definitely get that sea salty scent, but there's a little bit of sweetness to it, which I guess is the pineapple. But let's see what the scent notes are. Okay, so pineapple sea spray. I mean, look at that label. Look at that label. I get suckered in by these these tropical island beach labels. I, I, I admit, I do, I do. Anyway, the scent description is this unique blend combines fresh ocean water with freshly cut pineapple. Enjoy top notes of bergamot, pineapple, and fresh watery ozone. The middle combines pink peppercorn, white peach, and light jasmine. The bottom contains blonde woods, skin musk, and a light dose of vanilla. I like how they do the fragrance description with the, the top, middle, and bottom notes. I really like it when a candle company does that. And so it, it, it really helps, you know, for me when you're ordering online, and you don't have the chance to smell the candles in person to kind of give you a hint, you know, yeah, I like this, I like this, I like this. And then, you know, sometimes it doesn't work out as a surprise. But when I looked at the scent description, I was like, oh, yeah, I like this, I like this, I like this. So I really thought I would like this candle. And I think I will. I think I will. I do get more of the, you know, the, the watery ozone with a, the hint of sweetness. So, yeah, we'll see how this does. I hope I, I, hope I really enjoy this one. And now, for the part of the order 
that I am most excited about. I ordered four of their decorative tumblers and oh my gosh people look how beautiful these are. These are simply gorgeous. I think there was two more, two or three more in the collection that I didn't get. But oh, Goose Creek, well done. Well done. These are gorgeous candles. These are two wick tumblers, white paraffin wax in these beautiful decorative jars. And I hope when they're done burning, I can clean them out and reuse them for like votives or tea lights because these are gorgeous. Nice, thick, heavy glass. I am very, very impressed with these. I almost thought they might be a little bit smaller, but they're a nice size. Um, let's see how many, how many ounces are they? 10 ounce. Um, this is in the scent Magnolia Sage, and this one is probably my favorite one because you definitely get the Magnolia. But uh, so I'm going to run through these really quickly and give you guys an idea what the set notes are, and hopefully I'll get reviews up, you know, on them in the next few weeks. But I really am impressed with the way they look. You know, it's like to heck with the smell. They look beautiful. They look fabulous. But let's go see what they smell like, okay? So the first one is Magnolia Sage. Okay, so Magnolia Sage, like I mentioned, this is in a 10 ounce two wick tumbler, white paraffin wax. They normally sell for $22.99, so they are a little bit pricey, you know, because you could get a large jar practically for that price. But I'm telling you, these are gorgeous looking. I can't wait to see how they look when they're burning. And I did get this for 50% off, so I paid like what 11 12 bucks for it. But uh, yeah, to me, it's just it's worth it. I hope it throws anyway. The scent description is the beautiful, fresh scent opens with sweet lemon, orange flower, and sage leaves, while the heart instills comfort with the cords of southern magnolia, white lily, and pink hyacinth. Warm musk and sandalwood further evoke serenity. And like I said, this is probably my favorite. I definitely get, you know, the magnolia. You know, it's, it's like a floral, but with warm tones. Maybe a little bit of soapiness, but not too much. I think I'm going to really love this one. I really, really do. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed because... Um, on the cold sniff, this is like right up my alley. And you know, this green color I think would fit with pretty much any decor. Love it. Let's go to the next one. The next one is, what's this one called? This one is C petals. And this is like a white and gold pattern. It's a little bit you know, more, you know, modern or, yeah you know, bright and sunny, modern looking compared to the other ones. I like these better, but I ended up getting this one because I did like the scent notes in this one. And the scent notes are, this playful fragrance opens with top notes of white apricot, grapefruit, and pink cassis, followed by nuances of peony blossom and watery muguet. The beautiful creation rests on a base of sheer musk and blonde woods. And basically I got this because of the grapefruit, peony, and muguet, which is like lily of the valley. Now, on cold sniff, it doesn't smell very strong. I get more of like a, a peony, lily of the valley type smell, like a little bit of floral with a little bit of sweetness of the grapefruit. So, but it smells really, it smells really light on the cold throw. So I'm not quite so sure about this. This one smells, you know, like it's going to be strong. This one smells really light, but if it pulls through when it's burning, it's, it's basically smells like just a, a, like a sweet floral. So hopefully that's going to be okay. The next one that I have here is turquoise waters beautiful turquoise glass color and this one kind of smells like what you would think it would smell like you know basically your ozone watery ozone type of scent but let's check out the notes 
Okay, the notes on this one are kind of surprising because it doesn't say anything about ozone. It says, this tranquil fragrance takes you on a path to paradise where sparkling bergamot, black pepper, and citrus tonic are graced with the comfort of clary sage, lavender leaves, amber resin, white woods, and warm musk. Hmm. Okay, it just kind of smells like your typical, um, you know, your watery ozone spa type of scent with almost like a hint of sea salt. Um, this one smells light too though, so who knows, you know, once it gets going, who knows what's going to come out with it. But I do like it. It just smells light. And then last but not least is Twilight. This one also smells really light on the cold. It's hard to pick up what the notes are, so let's look them up. And this one says, fill the room with the enchanting and beautiful medley of juicy berries, freesia blooms, agar wood, and vanilla musk. Now, as you guys know, I'm not a big berry person in candles, so I was hesitant on getting this one, but I do like freesia, you know, and vanilla musk, and you know, the wood. And of course, it's a beautiful purple color. So I decided to take a chance. And I don't really get berry. I don't, I actually, I can't hardly smell anything. So, yeah. I mean, all of these do smell fairly light on the cold, except for the this one, the magnolia. This one smells really nice. I think that one's probably going to be a favorite. But like I said, you guys never know what they do on the the warm throw. And these um, 10 ounce candles are supposed to burn like for 60 hours, so we'll see how that goes. That seems like a long time to me based on the size. But anyway, there you have it. That is my Goose Creek haul. And I think that will probably be my last Goose Creek haul for a while. I uh, Unless I get some more of these, I mean, if these turn out to be stunning, <laughs> I may have to get some more of these if they have another sale. Um, and I'm definitely, you know, going to keep my eye out on this one, the plantation row. But other than that, I'm really not planning on making another haul with them until probably the fall. So, yeah, I got a lot of candles. I got a lot of candles. I have a lot of candles. I need to store these somewhere where I don't know. I need to start burning. Um, you know, there's more sales coming up, and I, I tried to go on a wax ban. I lasted for an entire week, and I broke it today. <sighs> yeah, so I'm not very good at keeping wax bands, I guess. Anyway, there you guys have it. If you guys like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe below, and have a blessed day.